Land of the Lost and Semi-Pro, awesome. Yeah. This is kind of cool. He's getting back in that leading role again. Adam McKay is back to direct and directed Step Brothers and Anchorman and Talladega Nights. And you have a pretty good resume here. Mark Wahlberg, Sam Jackson, The Rock. It, they are a real fan of Mark Wahlberg on the other guy. The okay. guys in the back. They're doing all the police filing. They're doing all the paperwork. And The Rock and Sam Jackson are the lead stars. Some unfortunate accident occurs and the other guys have to step up and take over a thirty-two million dollar case. And the whole thing is, you know, Wahlberg and Will Ferrell have this insane chemistry. They don't like each other at first. They gain it's a funny cup. They gain each other's trust. But one of these things I have to say is Anchorman is a very random cup. It's very off the wall, it's very absurd. I love that style of humor. If you don't like that, you might not like this movie. I think mean, this is again, it's like it's Anchorman with action. The action scenes are legit. I enjoyed the chemistry between the two. Speaking of random, there was an album I used to listen to back when I was in middle school uh, by TLC called Crazy Sexy Cool. Okay. And it had, you know, the songs Creep and Waterfalls. Right, right. There was a joke every 30 minutes in this movie about TLC's album. So, like, there's yeah. a recurring yeah. theme. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Every once in a while, Michael Keaton will step in there and start singing TLC. It was so uh, random. But, but yeah, I like that style of humor. Mm -hmm. It does go a little bit monotonous, and the ending does go out a little bit, but I still think it's funny to see with a crowd. I think okay. it's a, it's, it's, it's a huge laughing riot you can see with that. It's a buddy flick. Yeah, it's a buddy flick. Three and a half out of five for that. I mean, it's a good matinee, really. Now, when it comes to dance movies, the yeah. step up. You guys are something going right, So this is the third in a, in a series. Yeah, Step Up 1 and 2, uh, and now Step Up 3D. This this movie actually was legitimately shot in 3D. This year, we've seen so many movies that were shot in 2D and then converted to 3D. Right. Yeah, Alice in Wonderland, Clash of the Titans, uh, The Last Airbender, and Captain Dogs 2. This was actually shot on 3D. The dance moves are right in your face. Don't worry about the plot line. The acting is atrocious. The script's atrocious. It's not a movie you go to see for award-winning performances. You go to see it for the music and the dance. The 3D is beyond amazing. They're dancing right in your face. I gotta bring up a scene in the movie. Do you know what the stare is? Oh, of course. Okay. They do an amazing... You know, of course. Remember Roberto, 1934? There's an unbelievable dance sequence. It's a two-and-a-half-minute dance sequence.